Meantime, American Express is talking directly to investors and addressing their concerns that the company's business model is broken. Kayla Tausche has more from San Francisco. American Express has evolved from freight mail to traveler's checks to being the largest U.S. credit card issuer by purchases. But investors are now doubting that its business model can withstand customer defections, regulatory challenges, and a rapidly changing competitive landscape. CEO Ken Chenault helming the company for 15 years addressed those concerns head on Thursday at the start of American Express's Investor Day. Let me start with the first question I mentioned. Is the American Express business model fundamentally broken? I can tell you with complete confidence that the answer here is no. Some elements of our business haven't performed as well as we'd like in this environment. Yes, we're ending our Costco partnership, but our model isn't broken, nor is it static. But the Costco agreement will hurt. Amex hit just half its U.S. consumer billings target, mainly due to Costco. Amex is also being dropped by Fidelity and JetBlue. Due to this environment, Chenault said the prior earnings target of 12 to 15 percent earnings per share growth would no longer be appropriate, though he declined to set a new target. Now, despite Warren Buffett holding a more than 15 percent stake in the company, it was the Dow's worst performer this year before news of an executive reorganization and a big cost-cutting plan pulled it off the lows. Chenault also addressed that plan. We've demonstrated we can hit the expense goals we set for ourselves, and I'm confident we can achieve our most recent billion-dollar target. The priority for me and for all of our business leaders is sustainably growing revenue. Our board is fully supportive of our plans. That support, he mentioned, though, dampened investor speculation the company could pursue a merger, acquisition, or even CEO change. Instead, Amex is refocusing on one of its existing revenue streams, lending. Now a, quote, major strategic thrust, though the company's website boasts its one competitive advantage is not having to rely on it. As the strategy was unveiled, Amex shares fell. Analysts at Stiefel said a focus on organic growth wouldn't necessarily be surprising, but also wouldn't be likely to change what it called, quote, increasingly negative investor sentiment. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Kayla Tausche.